Hey everyone, welcome to my layout. In this video, I want to show you how you can set up the tops list to scan based on the last price, the net change, percent change, or volume. So, as you know, the tops list, we can sort here, the last price, we can sort by net change. Any of these columns here, we can sort. Uh, we can also add a specific rule to the filter and one of them here that I wanted to show you for most active is an option to actually look at stocks that are trading higher than $1.50 and then we can also look at stocks that have dropped more than uh, 50 cents on the day. So as you can see on our tops list here some of these symbols here just have are barely positive on the day so we're going to exclude these and then also anything that hasn't dropped more than 50 cents, we're going to exclude those here. And it should give us a more refined list here. So our first step here is we're going to go to our rules and we're going to set this for greater than. This is going to be a dollar fifty. And then I'm going to add one for less than. And this is make sure you type in the negative sign. So this is going to be, again, stocks that have dropped more than 50 cents on a day and then stocks trading higher that have a net change of higher than $1.50. We'll click OK. And then this is going to be our new filter list. So I can go into the other scans here. For example, percent change up. And let's say we want to look at something that stocks that have traded more than uh, 250,000 shares on a day. And then again, I can go into the last price. And let's look at anything less than uh, $10. So now you can see all our stocks here are under $10. And this is going to save with your layout. So when you go back, when you relaunch the program and you want to go back to any of your um, scans here, for example, we're going to go back to most active. And again, this is going to, uh, the software is going to remember the settings. Just make sure that you save your layout and you should be all set. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.